one. And today we are going to be finding 110 and 100,000 more and less than a given number. And you can see that at the bottom here where it says objective find 110, 100,000 more and less than a given number. That means we're going to be subtracting and adding 1,000, 10,000, and 100,000 to various numbers. And you're going to look at the patterns for how you know we do the subtraction or that addition. But first I want to go over this problem here with you. And this was on the DMR and it's application problem. It says use the digits 5, 6, 8, 2, 4, and 1 to create two six-digit numbers. Excuse me. And then you need to be able to compare those two numbers. So I'm just going to make two six-digit numbers at random. Uh, let me get my writing tool here. 6,000... 500 or 658,000 comma 241 it's a terrible five I told you guys I'm terrible at drawing fives there we go and um, I'm gonna do 4,600 or four four hundred sixty two thousand 581 and then it's asking me to do a comparison and which number is greater than or less than they're not equal because they're not the same number so I know they're not equal which number is greater than and which number is less than well I hope you said the one on the left is greater because look 600,000 400,000 so therefore 658,000 is greater than 462,581 Okay, next. Okay, here's our concept development. We are looking to find 1,000 more and 1,000 less. So first, I'm going to draw 2,000 discs. And you'll notice this is unlabeled. So we need to use what our activator background, not our background knowledge and understand where the 1,000 spot is. The first one here on the right is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So, I'm going to draw, actually, you know what, I'm going to make a little uh, shape. Um, oh, this isn't going to be like the, no, it's not like my whiteboard version. That's too bad. No, I can't draw a shape there, so you're going to have to suffer through poorly drawn circles. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So, um, we're drawing two thousands discs on our place value chart. One, two. And how do we say that number? Two thousands, right? What number is one thousand more? If I draw one more there, that's how many thousands? three thousands. Okay, now what if I keep three thousands but I have 112 ones? So 100, one, then I would have two one chips because it's a 112. If I add one more unit of a thousand, what does that become? 4,112 because look, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 thousands, 100, 110, 2 ones, 4,112. What would it be if I took my eraser and I went like this? What would our number go down to? 3,112 because we have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 112. What if I go up to my 10,000 spot, it's right here, and I put a 10,000 disc? What number do I have now? 14,112. Oh, I'm sorry. I should probably, that's actually going to be 13,112. I forgot I erased one there. So that would be 13,000. 
112. If I put another 1,000 in there, though, what's it going to go up to? 14,112. Did the largest unit change? Did that number change? No, it did not. Okay, so let's do 19,112. So if I have 10,000, 14,000, I need to add how many more? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What is 1,000 more than 19,112? Well, if I add another 1,000, I'm going to have a bundle of 10. I'm going to have to rebundle that because I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have a group of 10 there, so I rebundle and that makes two ten thousands, which is 20,112. So now you notice the largest unit changed from one, where I had 19,000, one nine comma 112. It's now 20,112. But what if let me get my eraser out here. What if we did an even, sorry, I'm gonna make this bigger so I can erase quicker. What if we made this even, an even bigger number? We're gonna have 100,000 and then I'm going to have 9, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 99. Uh, another 9 here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Five, eight, nine, ninety-nine, four hundred sixty-five. So I would need four hundreds. One, two, three, four, and then six here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then five ones. One. Two, three, four, five. So I have the number 199,465. What is 1,000 less? Well, if I just take my eraser, we're going to the thousands. We go one, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. I'm going to take away 1,000. I still have one hundred in my I still have one one hundred thousand, nine ten thousands, but now I have eight thousands. So it went down from one hundred and ninety-nine thousand to one hundred and ninety-eight thousand. Right? But what if instead I add another thousand? Instead of taking away a thousand, I add another thousand. Well, it's going to look like this. If I add a thousand here, that would give me ten. So you'd have to rebundle, right? And then you add, bring that one over here. Oh, that gives me another ten here, which means I need to rebundle again. And now I'm up to how many hundred thousands? Two hundred thousand four hundred sixty-five. So we went from 199, we added 1,000, and went up to 200,000. Let's look at our next slide here. 
Now we're going to be finding 10,000 more and 10,000 less. And guys, that's just like what we did before. We're going up and down, but instead of going up by thousands, we're going up and down by ten thousands. So I'm going to model here, um, let's say two ten thousands, so ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, two ten thousands, and you know what, I'm going to make this a little bigger here so you guys can see what I'm working with here. Two thousand, two ten thousands, and let's do three thousands. One, two, three. So how do I say that number? Two ten thousand, two ten thousands, and three thousands. Well, two ten thousands is twenty. Three thousands, twenty-three thousand. So I can go like this. I can go two, three, comma, zero. Zero, zero, and then I want to ask you guys what is 10,000 more than 23,000? I'm going to come down here and I'm going to draw it. So if I add another, so I'll have two ten thousands and I'll have still have three thousands. If I'm adding another 10,000 though. I would just go like this. What is my number here? Thirty-three thousand, right? Because if I'm just adding ten thousand to twenty-three thousand, and on my place value chart I had one, two, that was two, three, two ten thousands. If I'm adding another ten thousand, I would add another ten thousand place value disk and have have one, two. Three, so I would have three ten thousands, still have three thousands, and nothing over here. But what if I wanted to go make this a little bigger? Okay, what if I wanted to go like this? we have 2,300, but I wanted to take away 10,000. What am I left with? I take away, I took away one ten thousand. I erase that, and I'm left with one and then that's one, two, three, just like up above still, 13,000. Okay. And we're going to do one more where we are looking at one more, um, sorry, we're looking at 100,000. We're finding 100,000 more and 100,000 less. So you see up here I have the number 200,000. 300 and that should be 352. I don't know why that 2 didn't show up. So I need to find 1s, 10s, 100s, thousands. Ten, I got the 100 thousands right here. So if I have 200 thousands, nothing here, nothing here, 300s, 5 10s, Four, five, and two ones. Okay. So I have this number two hundred thousand zero zero comma three hundred fifty two. I'm going to erase this one because it kind of looks like a place value disk. And I want you guys to understand that that's a zero because I don't have any chips there. Okay, so I want to add 100,000 to this. What is my number going to become when I add 100,000 to this? No. 
Let's go ahead and look at it. We have 200,000, nothing there. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. Okay, now if I want to add 100,000 to this, I'll draw a chip here, and that leaves me with one, two, three, zero, zero, three hundred, fifty-two. Do you guys notice the pattern that's going on here? In almost all these examples I've shown you, we have this two here. I am adding a hundred thousand. It's just going up one. Two goes up to three. Everything else is staying the same. In our previous examples, two went down to one. Or two went up to three when I added a thousand or added ten thousand. Or if I added a hundred thousand. So what you need to do is understand that there is a pattern to all this. And that pattern is how it is going up and down in that spot. So if I have the number 545,000 and 445,000, and let's say I have, I'll put this text box right here. 345,000 um, Oh, look at that. That's already in there. Nice. So, as you can see, As you can see, guys, I have the number, the numbers, oh, I see, 545,000, 445,000, 345,000. What do you think will be the next number in this uh, pattern? I'm going 545,000. 445,000, 345,000. What do you think the next number in that pattern would be? Well, look at the pattern, guys. Like I said earlier, everything goes in a pattern in math. If you look at this number, you have 5, 4, 5, 4, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, so 245,000 would be the next number in that pattern. And what do you notice? It's decreasing by what unit? The hundred thousand spot. So in the attached work, you are looking at and trying to figure out how these numbers are moving up and down, excuse me, on the place value chart. You're subtracting and adding thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. Just remember the pattern, guys. Look at a number. If it's asking you to subtract, so if I had the number, let's keep it like we have here. If I have five hundred and forty-five thousand, and I asked you to add 10,000. Well, where's the 10,000 spot at? Right there. So if I say add 10,000, then what does that number become? That'd be 555,000. Okay. 
you're looking at the place value where you're subtracting 100,000, subtracting or adding 100,000, 10,000, or thousands. And that spot's either going to go up by one or down by one. That's the simplest way I can say it. Okay?